let's do a quick uh, review of the video hi-fi go store did on the fd1 and that's the unboxing what you probably get in the box of the fd1 uh if you don't know hi-fi go they sell iems and so many audio products so be sure to go to their store as well this video is what they created and um let's take a look at it the packaging for the fd1 looks fantastic you are getting a premium box uh the box is magnetic from the way i can see it here you're getting your user guide um which looks fabulous you're getting a very very well uh built box um honestly it is very very rare before you see a chai fi earphone manufacturers give you a box like this with a manual manual is is something that you lack in so many uh, earphones if not majority of them now i understand a lot of people may not read the earphones manual i get it but it is still nice that you get it uh the next one is pretty much your accessories parts basically where you put your accessories um I, I really like the packaging for the fd1 and for you to to know that is a great packaging for it to cost 60 dollars you're getting a beautiful premium case that that really can carry at least two iems if you want to fit it in uh it's going to carry at least two iems uh, honestly i'm impressed uh what you get in the box two this can actually carry two IEMs. Uh, the box itself, it, 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 it's a wonderful packaging that uh, Fio gives you. Uh, and, and Fio has been in the game. They have the money, they have the resources, they have the manpower, they have the staffs, they have everything they need to really give you the best unboxing experience. Because unboxing really matters. Like the Tanshin Jin Hana I just talked about honestly these two iams are the two iams for me that will reign in the budget range for this year period uh tashin jin hana and the fd1 are the two iams i am currently working on getting to own and review for the channel because i just love them i especially the tashin jin hana is built by far the most beautiful iam and the feel is very close to it because I actually like the feel in the blue form. I'm not really a fan of black, so I'm not really keen on the black variant or the feel, but I love the blue feel. It, it, it looks fantastic. You're getting um, seven pairs of ear tips with this model. And honestly, you 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 are, you are doing very very well with the the ear tips because one uh, set of the ear tips like three pairs serves for your treble like your balanced sound uh, while the other three serves for your bass uh, if you want more bass and uh, the sound for this feel from what I've heard around it has a very warmish to bass level performance it and and from what i can tell it has a very well-made driver so uh, you're gonna get good separation you're gonna get good impact you're gonna get good slam yeah, from what i can tell this is gonna even give you very good um, sound stage so honestly if i'm talking of two iams i'm highly recommending this CA for anyone to run out to get it's probably the fire fd1 and the tan-changing hana because these two iams look incredibly beautiful uh this iam looks gorgeous it's it really shows you the the craftsmanship that has gone into the production of earphones over the years and what you can actually get for a little amount compared to what people used to previously pay for premium um high-end headphones it's no longer the case you're getting quality iems and i'm a fan of two pin connectors um i don't know about people that like mmcx connectors but i hate mmcx in fact if i see any iem that has mmcx i just immediately have a problem with the 
the IEM. I just I just don't like IEMs with MMCX. I just love that two pin. The two pin gives me that assurance that the earphone would at least last a, a bit. Uh, a bit. It gives me that hope that yes, I, I'm not getting an IEM that would uh, go bad uh, while I'm using it or anything of that nature. So uh, I'm actually um, really impressed with the Fire FD1. It is definitely going to be the new budget uh, king for the IEM world right now. A lot of people will love this. Um, I know there will be some haters out there that would say, oh, it's not great. It's not. But guys, think of what you're getting in the box with this particular IEM. You're going to get quality accessories. You're going to get great sound. And if you really want another dynamic earphone that is single dynamic driver that looks even better than this, you can get a Tash Engine HANA. I will leave a link to that. Just get any of these two or even get the two. You can save and get these two. If you get these two, honestly, I feel you will be fine. Especially if you're a dynamic driver guy. Uh, honestly, if you have these two in your collection, I don't think you need anything earphone for a very long time so that's it guys uh, make sure you follow us on social media subscribe to our channel like our content and i'll see you guys next time